because um, when you have a dumbbell, it's more balancing and it forces you to balance and center your body as well as the weight than like a dumbbell, I mean like a barbell. Barbell, you're connected, so technically, you know, the bar and the weight controls itself and you don't have to control your own body of sorts. And then the same with the kettlebells and especially with the kettlebells because they're all just circles. You're trying to spin the bells around the core of your body <clears throat> and the core of your energy, which is which is your hips. So anything functional that's not forcing you to stand and allowing you to breathe or rotate, those are the type of you know martial arts power moves that give you lots of power. So it's like a punch. You can control the amount of core muscles, musculature yeah. you're using. Yeah, because everything comes from your core. Every punch, every breath, every movement, every block, defense. So the more I can balance that core, extend the core, rotate the core, or pff, tighten the core throughout my movement, the more mm -hmm. power I have, which goes back to the yeah of all martial arts. Yeah. What else do you do to involve those <laughs> fighting muscles training-wise besides just the kettlebells and the rope? Um, well, all the drilling, uh, all the practical application. For me, it's a bit of a step backwards. I, um, I consciously begin and end every movement with my breath. So it's like the old, uh, we used the, uh, the old joke, if I want to get off the couch, it'd be like uh, two breaths, I'd have to go like, uh, you know, so we just use the basic breathing in the uh, core of, of the movement. That's what works for me, hmm. simplifying the breath. And what's the average routine with the, with the kettlebells and with the rope? You're working up to three minutes? I work up to five. I work up to five-minute sessions. Um, I recommend you start at like 15 or 10 seconds. Five minutes with the exact same motion? The exact motion, or <clears throat> I'll start mixing the motions. So as I get, say, closer to my fight, if I've built you know, my base and my core strong, and I've got a real strong foundation, then I'll add more twisting and reaching and other types of um, movements in the series during the round. So hmm. I'll do like a five minute round that includes, you know, hip, shoulder, twist, step, and all of them with the bell. Which to me simulates, or is supposed to simulate, a round of fighting and all the things that would happen. Punch, kick, twist, sprawl, shoot, wrestle, all the activities. Nice. Mm. Made for dummies. Mm. <laughs> Could you show us some of the swings, please, sir? In here? Yes. Thank you. Uh, so the most basic and my favorite is the, uh, <clears throat> the beginning of the hip swing, which is uh, your power source here, pressing through to here, and then whatever energy comes after that, transferring to your bell. And uh, the first one for me is here. So my real power source is this, this hip. I'm here today. And then my focus, because I have a, a spondy and somewhat of a broken spine, my focus when I come up is to tighten my core and to keep my spine straight. So it's hip, spine straight. Hip. Um, that's the simple and most basic uh, power energy right here, your hip thrust. And then the other one, which is very uh, applicable to fighting and which I recommend for MMA, is um, anything where I'm going through my legs here in an active fighting stance or an active wrestling stance which is here, sprinter stance, hmm. feet ready. And that's anything going through here, or crossing through here, or even as I'm walking, you know, making figure eights. But the key to it is I'm conditioning my core, providing resistance, and building my ability to stay here and have power, which is where my wrestling position is, or the in-between of striking to wrestling or whatever. Uh, the other ones which uh, <clears throat> the, are a little more advanced and once my base are built um, we'll work on smaller muscles, punching muscles, grabbing muscles, pulling muscles and uh, the easy one is the two-handed catch. So I'm doing as I'm driving my hips through, bring it up and catching, then I'm going to throw it back out and go back into my balance. The hard part is this thing swings around my body, tries to move. And I've got to keep my core tight and stay balanced. So it's supposed to look like this. Where I never lose the space. I never lose my foundation. 
and it'd be really cool. You could do all this kind of stuff, you know. <laughs> like sitting up here like this, and I'm not that cool. <laughs> Try that's side. great. You're working those small stabilizer muscles that you use when you're wrestling somebody or yep. defending a takedown. Yep. Yeah, all the core stuff. This, the beauty of the bell is once you have a base core, then you can really enhance it with the bell because everything from here comes from the core.